just uh, look into this one, see whether anything. You see this EMUI, uh, um, whoever actually tap onto the uh, Android system and so on, they will actually have to write a short program, the interface uh, program, to actually make it uh, link with your own uh, uh, so proprietary uh, kind of uh, uh, software. Yeah. For example, in this case, of course, is the Huawei's uh, uh, mobile services. They some they have some of the uh, so called uh, uh, ecosystem. They are they are calls and uh, services, which is not available in Google's. For example, yeah. Of course, then you actually have to write this, and they call it the. I, uh, during my last talk, actually, I have I actually I mentioned the whole the full name of it, but now I, again I cannot remember. Yeah, they call it the e, EMUI, and then they have different version also. I think ten was at that time. Uh, Google was actually uh, having a version ten. Uh, now I think they go on to eleven already. The new one actually just released. I think I'm not too sure. So I think it's. 11 yes yes i have a new phone actually uh it's 11 yes the other day just updated yeah it's 11 oh so there is actually the situation so uh, uh google itself also have the own sets of emui also to actually go for the uh, specific uh, uh interfacing between the uh, uh android os with the uh, other core services Oh, so this is actually the thing. No? Uh, so I think, yeah, so I think the mid time, mid time actually is the uh, iPhone, I think, right? Yeah. So I think uh, for some of these, they have to go through the E, e and B, UIs uh, to actually get it linked up and so on, yeah. So um, you need not to know all of this uh, unless you really, you need it and you want to use it and so on in that sense. Uh, oh. So for example, uh, this one, this one actually, one way actually, uh, of course at the moment, the uh, so-called the, the, the Harmony OS, their aim is actually to link up all the internet of things, you know. In other words, uh, uh, when they actually uh, decided to go ahead with the, uh, the Harmony uh, OS at the time, they already know that the world is actually now come to a stage that everybody has multiple devices. And all of them actually, as I mentioned just now, they are all synchronized nicely. But nevertheless, this, this synchronization is not just synchronize everything and copy here and so on. Sometimes you just don't want them to actually synchronize uh, with the thing. But on the other hand, you want it to immediately, you can actually able to transfer the file, let's say from your handphone into your laptop, for example. And for that reason, even this is a, a, a Windows uh, OS uh, laptop, uh, uh, what we actually have make a software for the uh, Huawei phone to be able to link with your laptop without any cabling, without any uh, setup or any Bluetooth and so on. I think it's all go by the near face uh, contact kind of uh, thing. So, so long that you, you actually bring your phone, you, you put close to your laptop and it will link up by itself. And it is all because of it's, it's a so proximity uh, kind of uh, connection. That's why we call it the near face connection. Just like you put your hand, your handphone uh, onto your printer, for example and you click onto a uh, uh, document that you want to print and it will, the printer will be able to actually print it. Same kind of thing. Here, your 
mobile phones uh, screen will actually appear over here. And if you open up a list of uh, document here, it will appear here also. And from here, it become, you know, you can catch it, click, and then drag it out. And it will automatically transfer into your laptop. Yeah. And that is a kind of a so-called seamless connection that they want to aim for the, uh, all the futures devices. Yeah. In other words, it is something like this handphone with the, for example, Mitsubishi apps on it, aircon. And you can actually use this one as your uh, remote control. And you can do all the setting for your Mitsubishi uh, aircon. And if you have another Samsung aircon at home, you download another apps, you can do that also. But it can actually, in this case, so long that they are one way kind of thing, you don't even actually have to install any apps. You can actually recognize, you can actually sense it, and then they will actually seamlessly connect it. So long that they are actually within a network or within the proximity kind of environment, they will communicate with each other. And that is exactly, uh, they are trying to do this kind of thing uh, from bottom. That means when they started develop their OS at time, which is different from Google's. Google's at that time, we did not actually anticipate that, you know, you actually have all different devices to communicate with each other. Yeah. But anyway, uh, certain thing actually is made possible. Yeah. Yeah. I just quote you an example. People who are actually driving car, you can actually sing. You can actually sing your iPhone with your motor. Your car have another screen, right? Because there is a GPS. When you actually key in, say you want to actually have a guided uh, GPS to actually guide you go to a certain place and so on. You key in your destination and then they will give you different suggestion. Uh, you want the quickest one or you want uh, uh, sort of uh, avoiding all the ERP or something, you know, they, they give you different options and then you can actually do that. And that one, they, nowadays, the, the uh, system uh, that actually on your dashboard, uh, on your car, Nowadays, they don't load in any, in the past, uh, they load in different kind of map inside there, you know, depends on the car come from uh, which manufacturer and so on. But nowadays, they just make you, uh, let's say, if, you, if you're using the iPhone, they will actually connect in your iPhone, and the iPhone using a certain map, then you can actually just use the car as a main screen to actually see the, the, the navigation, but actually come from your handphone. You got it? Yeah. For Android, apparently, uh, they are not as unified as, as uh, for the iPhone. iPhone because they have only one iPhone. Yeah. And furthermore, it's an US company and US uh, uh, people are actually using more GPS uh, kind of thing, you know, in, in the state, they, when they drive everywhere, you know, they're all the map are actually there and so on. So they make it a standard, you know, most of the car actually, when you can uh, using an iPhone, it is easier to set up with your, 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 your car kind of thing, you know. Yeah, I got the car, but then I use an Android phone, then they say, yeah, you can actually do it or you can, uh, if you don't want to actually install a certain software and so on, then I have to actually uh, plug, plug a cable from my ear, uh, my mobile phone and then into my car's uh, uh, USB port and so on. Uh, and it still, still work, you can actually connect, but it's already a lot of troublesome, you see, because of the fact that I have to actually make sure that the cable is there and the cable, you know, when you're driving, it's never, never the idea to actually mentoring with the cable also, yeah. So that is like actually the kind of situation. And what I'm trying to say now is actually, 
the potential is there because uh, Huawei already actually because become a uh, uh, late comer, they actually know that what are the things that is needed and then from that you know so many uh, electric car is actually coming in and every electric car the, the ultimate uh, reason is you know it will not be driven by a human being yeah a lot of car a higher car and so on it will be all autonomous and they're all guided by the 5g network 6g network in future yeah, with all the safety, it's, it's just like when you now go to NUS, the campus there, or in NTU and so on. Yeah, those are buses, all the van are moving within the campus. They are all without any driver inside there. Yeah, so it's the same thing also. They are all connected up with the uh, mobile network. It's not just with the sensor around the campus and so on. No, they are really go on to the network and that is why 5G become such a hot topic now because of security. Because it is 24 hours, seven days, 365 days a week, a uh, year, they are all connected all the time. And what if somebody gain control of the system, you are going to cause a disastrous. And what happened to a air control tower at the airport? Yeah. So just to sidetrack uh, the thing, there is why I keep on telling people also, and why suddenly US actually waking up, and then why they ban Huawei. And not only, and they finally, they managed to get all the Western uh, country to actually reject Huawei. Yeah. So I'm not saying who is right and who is wrong, but the fact is actually when we are uh, at war all the time, then certainly you cannot say, I trust somebody is going to drop a bomb into my over my head and then uh, we are still friends, not possible. I still can use your mobile device for my home control and so on. How can it be? Correct or not? I'm not saying that who is right and who is wrong and so on, but I'm only saying that, you know, if we are all in good terms and we trust each other, why should I, I'm not dropping a bomb over your head? Why are you so scared that you don't use my equipment or use my network? Yeah. Okay, so much for that. Nah? I don't want to get myself into the wrong uh, step. Okay, so you can actually see that, you know, um, there are a lot of emphasis are actually in those uh, devices, uh, communication and so on. Yeah. So this is actually in line with the Internet of Things. Oh. Okay, so let me see any other thing. Support. Okay, this is actually more on the after sale services and so on, I think. Yeah. Okay, I think um it is coming to the close already this is way to buy and so i think in singapore uh okay this is actually the uh, store they have it 313 bookies junction yeah i think they're still there i think although some of them are closed because of the covid 19 yeah there are quite a number of shops actually. 313, I, I, I 
been there. I think Suntech also, I thought. No. No Suntech. So if you if you are interested and so on, you can actually uh, uh, watch out. Lah. Maybe they, they through your ISP, uh, that means your telephone company, they may be starting with the pre-registration or something, registration for interest or something. So the moment you they are available, you can actually get it. But I doubt that they, they are going to do so so much commercial promotion because they really don't have the chipset to actually produce the phone at this moment. But uh, my understanding also just, I think also, I think it's good to actually mention it. Although the Queen uh, 9000, which actually using the five nano uh, meters uh, technology, and uh, for that reason, only uh, TSMC can actually make the chips for Huawei. And at this moment, they are not allowed to do so because of the uh, uh, restriction from the US government. Because any manufacturer that is using US technology, uh, they will be under the restriction from the US government if they want to do business with uh, so-called uh, restricted customer, then they have to apply to US sec national security section. I do not know exactly where to actually get the permission or the license to actually to continue supplying parts and so on. If they do it under the table, if they are caught, uh, they themselves will get a, a fine or even uh, get themselves listed and they they may not be able to actually uh, uh, getting any more US technology anymore in future. Yeah, or whatever they are, they are presently allowed to do, they, 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 they will end up like Huawei like that, they cannot do anything. Uh, we access to US technology. So for that reason, uh, yeah, uh, certainly I don't think anybody uh, will want to actually uh, do it, uh, knowing that we have a superpower there actually uh, demanding for everything. Okay, so can I ask the, any other suggestion, any question or any comments, any feedback,